Hello, and welcome to ACP's Instructional Guide on Electrostatic Painting. Today we'll walk you through the entire process to help you achieve a high quality, even coating using this specialized technique. Electrostatic painting provides a unique advantage by reducing overspray and creating a smooth, professional finish. Let's get started. Materials and Equipment Before diving into the painting process, let's review the essential equipment and materials. Electrostatic compatible paint, such as Sherwin-Williams alkyd urethane. Solvents, like xylene and methyl ethyl ketone, also known as MEK. The electrostatic sprayer, tip wrench, which is very important, don't lose it. Protective gear, such as your spray suit, respirator, gloves, goggles, head sock, and shoe covers. Grounded cord connected to a GFCI protected outlet. Masking materials like paper, tape, plastic, tarps, and shields. A clean mixing bucket and a measuring cup for precise paint mixing. Step one, pre-paint preparation. Electrostatic painting requires careful setup. Here's how to prepare the painting area and surface. Masking. Use at least two rows of paper, paying close attention to corners and nearby metal surfaces to prevent unintended paint attraction. Weather. Avoid painting in wind over five miles per hour as it affects spray control. Surface prep. Sand, scrape, clean, and prime all surfaces for better paint adhesion. Finally, pay attention to swimming pools. If there are pools nearby, cover them securely to prevent mist from settling on the water. Step two, clean and test the sprayer. Run xylene through the sprayer to remove any residue from previous uses. Keep the xylene aside for cleanup later. Step three, flush solvent. Use xylene to flush out all remaining solvent in the sprayer's container. Step four, prepare the paint. Here's the mixture for Sherwin-Williams alkyd urethane paint. One gallon of paint, eight ounces of xylene, 12 ounces of MEK. Mix thoroughly and strain the paint before adding it to the sprayer. Step five, prime the sprayer. After preparing the paint, pour the mixture through the strainer into the sprayer's holding tank, prime the sprayer, then test spray on cardboard to set the correct pressure. Step six, power on the electrostatic box. Ground clamp, firmly attach it to the material being painted. Check for three green lights on the gun when the trigger is pulled but not fully pressed. Step seven, check grounding. Securely attach the grounding cord to the metal surface as close to the painting area as possible for maximum electrostatic attraction. Step eight, adjust the pressure. Adjust the sprayer's pressure to get a smooth application and minimize overspray. Start with low pressure and increase as necessary. Step nine, begin painting. Confirm the area is clean and masked. When painting fences or large surfaces, start from the inside moving outward. Visually check your spray to ensure an even coat, paying attention to light areas. Tips and troubleshooting. Clog tip. Loosen it slightly with a tip wrench, then spray briefly, then retighten it. If you are having a poor wrap, check the grounding clamp and ensure it is clean and properly attached. Keep the right distance from the surface to avoid backspray. Repriming. Always reprime when restarting the machine. Power issues. If the sprayer loses power, press the reset switch on the unit. Safety precautions. Safety is essential. Protective gear is required. You must wear a spray suit, respirator, gloves, and goggles. Ventilation. Ensure good airflow to avoid harmful fumes. Solvent disposal. Dispose of rags by soaking them in water and letting them dry before discarding. Electrostatic painting is an advanced technique and should only be conducted by trained professionals. Thank you for watching our guide on electrostatic painting. With these steps, you're set to achieve a flawless professional finish every time.